Hey everybody, what's up? It's uh, Nerfan16 and uh, Retro Kid from RVT here again. And for reals this time, I am going to finally get my thoughts out of the way of the final season of Dexter. And where to start? Um, well, why not Deb? Her whole psychological breakdown from the last day's season was pretty much a strong opening um, to the whole thing. And I really thought it was not bad. What technically still slowed down the series for me was, again, Masuka having yet again another pointless subplot that I guess was supposed to tie up his humor. I don't know. Um, also, spoilers ahead uh, if anyone's wondering uh, who and what. I'm spoiling a lot of stuff about the, the final season. So if you haven't got up to it yet or you don't have showtime, go to Netflix at this point. Just go to Netflix. Um, what did I think of Seahole himself being Dexter th again this year? Eh, he was on par as always, except for the last shot of the series. I'll get to that in a bit. But for right now, let's talk about the big kill this series, this season. It was, uh, the brain surgeon. Uh, he was, uh, kind of intimidating. Uh, pretty much a lot like what Dexter used to be, and knowing that he... Didn't really see himself as that, but I don't know. It was getting confusing real fast at that point, but let me get my thoughts out of her. his mother. Uh, again, spoilers. Uh, the therapist who trained him and Harry had to, you know, do the code. I think she was a okay actress. I, I know she's a veteran. I did not Google her name for the life of me, so if you want to say in the comments, be my guest, I probably won't care. Because either way, she did a good job trying to be intimidating at least. Um, everybody else, uh, the, the, the staff, uh, the, the police staff are, are okay. Batista finally becoming a lieutenant should have happened at least two seasons back, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, so yeah, knowing that Deb eventually, um, you know, gets calmed down and stuff still doesn't mean she still really wants to kick Dexter's ass for everything she did last year. The year, last year and obviously what she's been doing before the, this year uh she went to the pr private eye business with sh uh i don't really know the guy's name character wise i think it was Oe. his real his actor name was uh strong patrick flannery if anyone doesn't know boondock saints because i actually watch really crappy action movies yeah shut up shut up um also i'm in my uh I got my toy out here just in case Decade wants to screw over my review. Um, whole season wise, it wasn't that bad. It's just, you know, there was a lot of goodbyes here and there. Um, I really don't remember who got killed first. Uh, yeah, that's kind of sad for me to say. But, um, Hannah coming back, I didn't see coming, uh, honestly. Harrison getting a little older and having lines was kind of cute. And uh, speaking of him for the final episode, they had a nice moment with him and with Dexter and uh, his sister picking him, picking him up after being born. I think around like uh, three to four, I think. Uh, seasons three or four. And it was a cute, cool little moment. It was not bad. And then y y the final episode... Uh, the whole reason why I made the video was just because of the final episode now. Um, the series-wise had a really strong opening. Uh, a 50-50 medal like a lot of the seasons used used to be. And the ending makes or breaks you. Um, broke me when it came to... I think... I actually don't really have an ending that broke me. I know 5 had a... Ugh, a meh kind of filler ending. Uh, 6 definitely had a what, what the shit moment. And uh... Yeah, Deb's uh, swearing was through the roof as you as usual. Um, yeah, um, I really didn't like the last episode. I mean, it was it was setting up pretty well. Um, at that point, him and Hannah were planning on you know leaving the country because you know they're killers, remember? And um, I, I always knew he was gonna leave Miami. I just didn't know in what way. I always thought it was how. He really did, or through means of getting the hell out, fear of getting caught. Not faking his death, which is what he did. 
But in context of the last episodes, before that was setting up the storm, um, which I guess was their version of Hurricane Sandy that came that came uh, last year. So eh, kudos for them to at least you know remind us that you know they're kind of human too. I guess I don't fucking care. Anyway, he managed to finish off um, the brain surgeon when he was trying to do DNA swabs in, in the office, and um, everyone was emotional and shit because. And letting him go because he kind of shot Deb. And the surgery did went off without a hitch. Just I didn't realize the trauma was a little too much. And some BS, some medical jargon to put her on life support. Which made Dexter kill her. Uh, now I understand like throughout the confusion of the storm. You could technically do what he did. But not really. Character-wise, he could have just left her at the hospital, and he would have known, and he would have got the call, and come back, and just, you know, had a nice little inner monologue for for the funeral if they ever wanted to shoot it, but of course they didn't. Now, how did he pull off faking his own death? Well, he took his, he took the slice of life straight into the eye of the storm, and left the country. Even though Hannah was already at Argentina by the time... They reported his death, and apparently there was some big long talk throughout the series of him wanting to be up at the mountains. Uh, I didn't catch that part of the monologues. I really should have. I'm usually good at that, but not anymore. And when I did see the reveal of him faking his death and him being in another country or at least another state from the look of it, it could be Canada, I don't know, I don't care. You think he would have had a bigger talk? It was just quiet. It was just him, pretty much looking over everything he did, and that's not bad. It's just it was kind of a downer for me because I, I mean, I don't mind. Like I said in the previous video, his monologues, it personalized and made him, you know, at least think of the things he kind of did, the surroundings, his families, his his life, basically, and just having him quiet just realizing that he can't go any further just didn't really feel right for me i don't know that's just me and uh overall i mean i did like watching the show it was it was fun at one point but it was dragging i mean i could tell uh, on certain occasions just not enough like everyone else did but anyway this is finally the last episode of I'll probably ever do with Dexter. Uh, thank you for taking your time. Hey, hey, hey! Shush. I'm almost done. You can yell at me later. So yeah, I'm never fan 16. Retro kid on you. Retro kid on uh, RVT. And um, later, guys. I'm uh, gonna get ready for next week for the uh, final episode of Kamara Wizard. And oh boy, are we gonna have a hard, hard time with Decade. Later, guys.